Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Josh back with another video on Keep It Techie, where I help you learn Linux, stay secure, and grow in your tech journey. And today we're talking about Quantum Safe SSH on Arch Linux using a brand new Open SSH 10.0. And with this release, Open SSH automatically defaults to a hybrid key exchange algorithm that's designed to protect your SSH connection from future quantum attacks. So that's right, your home lab just went full 2030 mode. And what I wanna do in today's video is break down what's new in OpenSSH 10, show you how to check OpenSSH 10, and test if your connection is using this quantum resistant default. So let's get into it. All right, so first up, I wanted to go to the website for OpenSSH. This is OpenSSH.com. Of course, I'll have a link down in the description of the video, but this is where you can get all the information about OpenSSH as well as the release notes for that latest release. So OpenSSH 10.0 was released on April 9th, 2025. So let me click right here and this will take you to the release notes. And what I want to do is show you down here in the middle where it says new features. So this is that new hybrid host quantum algorithm. And let me go down and break it down for you. This is basically the algorithm right here. But if we highlight LKEM768, this is the post quantum algorithm standardized by NIST. And if we highlight the X25519, this is just the modern elliptic curve algorithm most people already use today. And then of course we got our SHA-256 at the end, but why is this a big deal? It's faster than the previous default. It's also quantum resistant. So even when those quantum computers go online and they start trying to break your algorithm, you're not toast. And then also it's used by default in OpenSSH 10. So no config changes are required. As long as you have OpenSSH 10 on the client, as well as the server, you're good to go. And then also if you're using Orange Linux and you've updated recently, you're probably already using this without even realizing it. Now let's go down and hop over to my virtual machine so I can show you guys how to verify it and use it. What's up y'all? If you've been watching my channel for a minute, you already know I stay talking about Linux. And if you're looking for a solid, reliable enterprise Linux distro, let me put you on to Rocky Linux. This is the go-to replacement for CentOS and it's built for the community by the community. It's got everything you need for a stable and secure Linux experience, whether you're running servers, home labs, or enterprise workloads. And the best part is backed by CIQ, making sure it stays rock solid for the long haul. So if you're tired of these companies pulling a plug on your favorite distros, Rocky Linux is where you need to be. And I've covered Rocky Linux before, and trust me, it's worth checking out. So head over to rockylinux.org to learn more and get started. All right, so I'm connected to my Orch Linux setup. This is a custom XFCE setup on Orch Linux. And one of the reasons I love Orch Linux and I use it on my main system is because it's always up to date. You get packages a whole lot faster. And if you're using Orch, then you want to run SSH dash capital V. And this will let you know if you have that latest version. As you can see right there, open SSH 10.0 P2. And then it'll also show you open SSL right there is 3.5.0, which is fine. We just only care about the 10.0 up here. So we have that latest version of open SSH. And if you don't have it, all you have to do is update your system. On other distros, you may have to download the package and build it from source. But in Orch Linux, it's already out there and you can just install it by just running pacman dash syu and press enter and type in our password. And this will install the latest version of OpenSSH if it's not on there. And so I also have a server set up. Let me SSH into that right fast so you guys can just see that one as well. So 10.0.172, press enter, type in our password to log in, and we can run that same SSH dash capital V command to get the version. And as you can see, we got the version. Here's the beautiful part. If both your client and your server are running open SSH 10, they will automatically use this new key exchange method. So you don't really need to touch your configuration files. But if you're like me and you like tinkering around with stuff, then you can set the crypto choice manually within the SSH configuration file. And since I'm on the server, let me go down and clear and get into the configuration file for SSH. So let's go sudo nano. And then under our ETC directory, there's the SSH directory. 
and then I'm gonna tab it out so you guys can find it. But the configuration file is under SSHD. SSHD underscore config is our main configuration file. And I'll open that up first and I'll show you what I'm planning on doing or where to make your changes or updates to SSH. You don't wanna really mess with this file, but if you look right here, it says include etc ssh sshd underscore config dot d and any configuration file under there so include that in the main config unless you need to make changes to any of the stuff that's already here like authentication method or if you want to specify to only use key authentication all that all those changes are in here you can set the port default port all that good stuff is here like i'm saying then you make those few changes here but anything new you want to add to the configuration let me show you guys where to modify that so if we tab that out, it's directory. And then this is where I always modify under the 99 underscore Arch Linux .config. So this is the configuration file for SSHD for Arch Linux. So if you press in there, you'll see it at the top. It says SSHD underscore config defaults on Arch Linux. And you can just go down in here and specify the key algorithm that you want to use. So I'll go down and type it in for you guys, but it's KEX algorithm. And now all you have to do is specify the config for the key algorithm. So 768 and then X25519 dash SHA. 256 but let's go on in and save this boom make those changes and also just to show you one other thing let me go back into this configuration file because let's say you want to have a fallback because you have other clients that are still connected to this server you can add the other algorithm because it's going to specifically look for that algorithm and if it's not using it then some users may not be able to connect to this server let's go on and just add the previous algorithm so 5 12 and then x 25519 that's the same and then right up here at the front is smp snt rup and 761 and then i know at the end of this one is at open ssh.com and then you also want to add the curve so curve 25519 and then dash shop 256 so i add that in there as well you want to add that curve and let's go down and save it right fast but this is mainly what i wanted to show you guys this algorithm right here you want to add that one and like i said i always like tinkering with this stuff and just seeing how it works let's go down and save that there and whenever you make changes to ssh just like any other application you need to restart the server so let's run sudo system ctl restart and then sshd press enter i'll restart ssh server and let's check the status right fast so you guys can at least check and make sure it's running hold on sudo system and not restart but status press enter there we go it's active running all that good stuff now let's go down and configure our client so i'm gonna exit out and get back into our main system let's go down and clear right fast and let's check out our configuration for this system and it looks like we don't have a config file but we can definitely create it so let's type config and press enter this will allow us to go ahead on and add our key algorithm and let's type host space store and then let me put in the algorithm again so hold on one second should be able to paste it in here there we go and let's go on and go to the front of it but you need to type key or kex and then algorithm and a space in between those two and that'll specify that we are using that new algorithm so let's go on in press save and exit out our file now i gotta drive this home again both your client and your server must be running open ssh 10 or later for the quantum safe default to kick in and if you're connecting from an older ssh client it will fall back to the older algorithm like that curve 25519 which i added back into the server configuration so in my case i've got Orch linux on both the desktop node and the server node fully updated this means we're good to go but like I said, if your laptop runs, let's say Ubuntu or Mac OS, you might still be on open SSH nine. And so that means it's time to update once the release is pushed to your repository. All right, so let's make sure our connection is using our quantum safe hybrid algorithm. And the way you can do that is by using the verbose options with SSH. So you guys can see the full handshake when it connects to the server. And so in order to do that, all you have to do is type SSH dash vv 
and then we can just log into our server the same way we did already so 10.10.0.172 and press enter and i'll give you the full breakdown of the handshake and all that stuff and i'm gonna go down and just type in the password so it'll get connected so we can see the full log of what actually happens and what we're looking for is the key algorithm as you can see is using that new key algorithm in order to connect to the server and so that confirms you're using the nist approved hybrid pqc method now if you don't see that you might still be using one of those old methods of connection like maybe that curve or the snt or up 761 algorithm depending on what your server or a client supports now i think this is one of those quiet but powerful shifts in the open source security we're moving towards a world where your default ssh session is protected from quantum crypto analysis without needing a phd in cryptography to make it happen and the fact that open ssh is doing this silently under the hood just shows how mature the project is and for me running orch means i get access to these updates right away which is why i use it on my main system and that's one of the benefits of using a rolling release security gets baked in fast and this is a great time to educate your team or co-workers on what quantum safe cryptography really means all right guys so that wraps up the video we just went through the new post quantum algorithm that's baked into ssh by default in this latest release of 10.0 and then also i try to throw a little orch linux in there just showing you guys how it's super easy to stay cutting edge and also how to test out if you're quantum safe right now if this helps you go ahead and drop a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss future videos on linux security and self-hosting also drop a comment down below are you already running open ssh 10 and also do you think this quantum safe shift is overkill or right on time and as always thanks for watching and remember to keep it techie i'll catch you guys in the next one peace yo what's up y'all listen if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move let me tell you tech is where it's at i don't care where you coming from whether you've got a degree a ged or just pure hustle there's room for you in this game. You see, tech is more than just keyboards and code. It's solving problems, creating opportunities, and building the future. You already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start. It cares where you're willing to go. You can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. And the resources are out here for free. And yes, you heard me, free. Now, yeah, it's going to take effort. You'll have to grind. But think about this, the time is gonna pass anyway, so why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life? I mean, tech doesn't just pay the bills, it opens doors to freedom, stability, and generational wealth. So stop doubting yourself, store small, stay consistent, and keep building. Because this isn't just a career, it's a movement. And guess what? You belong here. So let's get it, because the future is yours to build. Keep it tech.